I'm George Ednoff, and I'm so happy to be here for another year. I think a lot of it is just willpower. You gotta make up your mind to do it and do it. You gotta, you have to discipline yourself. You have to do what you know you must do. I started, uh, oh, some 30 years ago, uh, a daily exercise program before breakfast from uh, 45 minutes to an hour, I go through some stretching exercise, a little bodybuilding, but m mostly just limbering exercise. It, it has to be a habit. You can't uh, call it an activity that you'll get to. It's amazing how often you just don't feel very, very good in the morning when you start. By the time you get through with uh, 45 minutes of, of this routine, you feel great. As you get older, very often you, you're just not enjoying life anymore. And uh, you let uh, problems uh, overweigh. Uh, the good things, and consequently you're not happy. Now, if you can just get back to, uh, to living again, uh, that's important. And you have to push yourself a little bit to do this, but, uh, and uh, you can't expect results overnight. And you may never ski as well as you did once before, but you can ski, and that's the important thing is to keep at it and uh, don't get discouraged, just keep trying. We're up here at yet another great year for George, 101 and a half. It's, uh, it's sun is shining. I mean, Alta couldn't be more beautiful and we're actually having to hold him back. He doesn't want to stop, he doesn't want to rest and uh, I'm just happy to be here with him. I was at one of the Wild Old Bunch dinners and I met this gentleman and he said he was 95 and I said, aha, that's a story. We got a call from Harriet Wallace saying, it's a gentleman, George Jednoff, who has an iPhone, still drives a car, he lives in the Bay Area, but you know, grew up skiing at Alton Snowbird and I think he'd make a really cool story. And by the way, he's uh, 95. We've been doing this ever since. So we're gonna keep doing this till you're like 110. Does that sound oh, good? At least. I don't know. This may be my last. Oh, no. no I, had, <laughs> I had more trouble getting started this time. Well, we'll see. He's an optimist. Uh, he said, "You know, I may be the most optimistic person you've ever met." He said, "I'm 95 years old, and I just bought a new pair of skis that ought to last me about 10 years." And George is about six and a half years into those ten-year skis right now. He's well, I wouldn't be surprised if he bought another pair. <laughs> <laughs> he is the utmost optimist. He is the glasses always full. You know, he says, "I never give up." You know, and and he's able to put things into perspective. I don't. He's like a Zen master. As you get older. Your eyesight goes bad, your hearing goes bad, your plumbing goes bad. But <laughs> if you can just keep vertical and keep moving and keep positive, that's the important thing. Keep positive. Skiing with George, that one or two days a year we get to ski with him, it just has this, this impact on you that other days on skis do not have. Make every day count and uh, do something constructive. And the more you can do, especially for other people, the happier you are. <laughs>